Hi everybody, this is Bonnie Barker with Bonnie Bay Crochet and today I want to show you how to make the Raspberry Cabled Delight Stole. This can be worn as a stole or a wrap or you can also wear this as a super scarf. Well, let me go ahead and show you some better photos of this right here. For this project, I'm going to be using hand dyed yarn from Eternity Ranch Knits and the information for this yarn is in the video description below. Each of these hanks has approximately 235 beautiful yards and this is a DK weight yarn and the number of hanks that I need is written across the bottom of the screen and you are also going to need a size H or 8 or 5.00 millimeter crochet hook and as always I recommend that you have a yarn needle and a pair of sharp scissors. We are going to begin with a slip knot and a starting chain of 73 chains. Now we're going to begin row number one and I'm going to be doing something a little unusual since I'm not going to be working in the rest of this chain for the rest of this design. I'm going to go ahead and work in the back bump of the chain and you can see the back bump is right there. It's not the side that I usually work in but I'm going to work in starting with the fourth one, two, three, the fourth chain from the hook and I'm going to work a double crochet working in the back bump and we're going to do this all the way across at the end of this row you should have a total of 70 double crochets and in that chain or stitch count I am not including the chain I do not include um, this in that stitch count so go ahead and work those double crochets working in the back bump all the way across after completing this row, you should have, again, a total of 70 double crochets and again, not counting this chain at the beginning. And by working in the back bump, you can see this lovely chain across the bottom. And since we're not going to be working over that, that's going to be a nice finished edge. So now for row number two, we have turned and we're going to chain two. We're going to skip the first stitch. We're going to work a front post double crochet over the first two stitches. And then we're going to work a back post double crochet over the next two stitches. This is the basket weave edging that will run along both sides of the scarf. And then again, we follow that with a front post double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Okay, after that we're going to work a back post double crochet followed by a front post double crochet and we're going to alter this back and forth with back post and then a front post double crochet until we get to the last six or actually yeah, the last six stitches of this row. And then I will show you how to return to the basket weave for those last six stitches. So go ahead and work that until you get to the last six stitches. Now that we have the last six double crochets, and again, I am not counting that chain as a part of this stitch count, and we are going to work two front posts double crochets followed by two back post double crochets 
and then two more front post double crochets. And then we are going to work a half double crochet worked into that turning chain space. And this is what you should have after completing row number two. Okay, for row number three, we're just going to continue working on this ribbing section with a chain two. Now for the basket weave, we are going to be changing the direction of the stitch from front post to back post or back post to front post every two rows. But since the foundation row counts as, as one and then this row two really counts as two rows of this. We're going to go ahead and change this for the third row. So we're going to reverse it by working two front posts over what would normally be a back post. And then two back posts. It's actually a repeat of the last row. It's just that with the way the um, stitches are presented with the backside facing it looks like we are reversing it, which we really are. So not to be confusing there, but make sure that you go ahead and reverse those six stitches work a front post, or sorry, two front posts, two back posts, and two front posts. Now with the rest of the ribbing, you just follow what you see. If you see a front post, we're going to maintain those front posts, back posts. We're just going to keep all of that constant so that we form these nice ribbed lines uh, for the base of this project. So go ahead and work the front post and back post double crochets along this ribbing until you get to the last six stitches of this row. For the last six stitches, we are going to work the basket weave again and we are reversing what we see. So we're gonna work two front post double crochets and then two back post double crochets, followed by two more front post double crochets, and go ahead and work a half double work right into that entire chain. Don't work in just a loop into a single strand, work into the entire chain. It makes it a lot stronger. Okay, now for row number four, we are just going to continue what we are working again with the ribbing, chain two. And now we're going to go with what we see with the basket weave. So we see back post, we're gonna work two back post double crochets to maintain that, followed by two front post double crochets, and then two back post double crochets. And then returning to the ribbing portion, we just continue with what we have. We have a back post followed by a front post. And we're just going to work that all the way across until we get to the last stitches, which is the basket weave. And again, we're going to work two back posts, two front posts, two back posts. And don't forget, a half double crochet worked into the turning chain. So go ahead and finish row number four. Now to begin row five, we're going to chain two again, and we are continuing still with the ribbing, and we're going to skip that first stitch, and we're going to start with two back post double crochets. We are reversing what we see on the basket weave at this point again. Again, like I said, every two rows, you're going to reverse the direction of the stitches that you see as far as whether they're front post or back post. So we've worked two back post, two front post, and we're going to continue with two more back post double crochets over those six stitches of the edging. And now we continue with the ribbing and we're just going to work what we see continuing these nice, beautiful long lines. So we start with a front post and then a back post and we alter this front post, back post, double crochet all the way across the row. When we get to those last six stitches, we're going to work 
two back posts, double crochets, two front posts, two back posts, and again, half double worked into that turning chain. So go ahead and finish row number five. Row number six is going to be the same as row number two down here. So we're going to chain two, skip that first stitch, and we're going to work what we see in regards to the basket weave with two front post double crochets, followed by two back post double crochets, and then two more front post double crochets. And then we are going to follow what we see in regards to the ribbing, starting with a back post and a front post and altered back and forth all the way across the row until you get to the basket weave on the other side. And then we're going to work two front posts, double crochets, two back posts, and then two front posts, and then half double in that turning chain. So go ahead and finish row number six. Okay, now we're going to begin row number seven, and this is where our pattern stitch for the cables begins. Now, as I said before, the beginning and end of each row is going to be very consistent. We're going to chain two, and we're going to work over the basket weave, and again, every two rows, you're going to switch the direction of the weave. So we're looking at back posts, so we're going to work front posts. We've completed one, two rows of that, so we're going to um, begin by reversing and this is row number seven so what that means is all of the odd numbered rows will have the front side facing and the even numbered rows will have the back side facing okay so we've done two front post two back post and now we're going to be doing two more front post double crochets okay now we are going to be working um, some in the top loops and some as post stitches, depending on what we're working on. We are first going to begin with a spacer stitch over these three stitches. It's called the waddle stitch. And those of you who follow my work know that this is one of my favorite fabric stitches. And it's worked by working in the top loops for the first row. Work a single crochet, chain one, and then a double crochet worked in that same space. We're going to skip the next two stitches one, two. Now we're going to work front post double crochets in the next three stitches. Okay, this is setting up the foundation um, for the cables. So one, two, three. And we're going to do this um, three more times. Well, we're going to work a half double in the top loops of the next stitch. Now, as we work across, it's very important that you don't use the same stitch twice and that you don't skip stitches so that your stitch count does not get off. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to work three front post double crochets again, one in each of the next stitches, one, two, three, and then another half double crochet worked in the top loops of the next stitch. Okay, And these half double crochets are going to also serve as spacers to help give our cabling definition. And we're going to do that again. Three front post double crochets. Half double in the top of the next stitch being sure that I don't skip any stitches unnecessarily or use the same stitch two times. Now we're just going to do three front post double crochets, one in each of the next three. So what you should have here, we have the waddle stitch that we worked, three front post, half double, three front post, half double, three front post, half double, and then three front posts. And there you have the foundation for one of the uh, cables. And now we're going to work a spacer in between the cables, which is the waddle stitch again. Single crochet, chain one, 
double crochet worked in the top of that same stitch and then we skip the next two stitches one two and we're going to repeat what we did here with these front post and half doubles two times more but I'm going to work this across with you so that we are sure this is set up properly so again skipping these two stitches for that waddle stitch three front post double crochets and then a half double in the top of the next stitch and we're going to do this a few more times that's one two three and then work the half double through the top loop and three more front post double crochets and a half double and let's stop and check where we are okay here is the waddle stitch we have one set two set three set we need our fourth so three more front post double crochets okay so now looking again at the waddle stitch we have one two three four we don't put the half double crochet instead we work a waddle stitch to space out these large cables which is a single crochet chain one and a double crochet and then we're going to skip two stitches one two and we're going to make our last set for that last cable again three front post double crochets a half double and three front post double crochets a half double and then we're going to do that again and then a half double and then three more one two and three and let's stop and take a look so we have our waddle stitch here and we have one two three four columns so we should have three sets like that across and that happy moment in a pattern for a designer when you realize that yes your math was correct yay we're going to work that last waddle stitch single crochet chain one and a double crochet skip the next two stitches and now we're back to the old familiar basket weave we've gotten two rows worked with the back post so now it's time to reverse it just like we did at the beginning of the row with two front post double crochets two back post double crochets and then two more front post double crochets followed by a half double worked in that turning chain and yes as you can see there is a lot going on as we work these rows but I promise you you will not get bored and I do hope that the beauty of these cables as they develop will just keep you interested in this project let's go ahead and turn to work with the back side facing and this is row number eight chain two and again continuing on with the basket weave two back post followed by two front post and two more back post double crochets all right so now we are working in the waddle stitch for the first time and this is no longer the foundation row and this is what you're going to do for every waddle stitch you encounter it's always going to be with the back side facing you you're not going to work in the double crochet you're only going to work in this chain one space right here and we are going to work a single crochet chain one and a double crochet 
worked inside that chain one space. Now going across for continuing the foundation of these cables, we are going to work three back post double crochets. followed by a half double worked into the top loop of that half double crochet. And again, this is now and throughout this pattern. And then again, three back post double crochets, half double worked in that half double. And again, three back post double crochets, and half double worked into the top loops of that half double, and finally three more back post double crochets. All right, so that is one repeat of what you're going to do. The waddle stitch, three back post, half double, three back post, half double, three back post, half double, three back post, and then we repeat it again. So go ahead and repeat that two more times. I will start the second repeat. Again, waddle stitch is the single crochet, chain one, double crochet worked in that space, and then you begin the three waddle, uh, back post double crochets half double, etc. So go ahead and work that and I will show you how to work the last section of this row. So after working those repeats, we have another waddle stitch to work in that chain one space. And then we continue with the basket weave on those last six stitches. That will be two back post double crochets, two front post, followed by two back post double crochets and a half double worked into that turning chain. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. So you can see these four columns, um, one, two, three, four, that would be one cable foundation. This is the second or the center cable foundation. And now we are ready for row number nine. And this is where we are going to begin crossing these cables. So let's go ahead and begin with the chain two. And again, it's time to reverse the direction of the basket weave. And um, you can just visually see when it's time to do that. And if you find that it looks too long, then you probably need to reverse it. So we're going to start with a back post double crochet set here. And then two front post. Followed by two back post double crochets. And like I said, as always, whenever you counter, you encounter the waddle stitches, just work a, in that chain one space, work a single crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, now we are going to begin crossing our cables. And what we're going to do is we're going to have, let me just briefly explain, we're going to have the set with the two cables crossed on this end. In the center, we're going to have the single uh, crossing in the middle, and then on the matching end on the other side, we'll have the two, the tandem cables, we'll call them. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to skip the next three stitches. These are the, the uh, post stitches, one, two, three. And we're going to half double in the top of that half double crochet. Now it's going to feel like you've gone a mile over here. It's not really a mile, but you know what I mean? It's going to, it's going to feel like a huge gap. Don't let that worry you. It will be filled in very shortly. 
Okay, so now we're going to work front post treble crochets. I did wrap the hook two times so that we work front post trebles in each of the next three stitches. Let's pull that off of there. And now working in front of the last four stitches, that would be the three trebles and that half double crochet, we're going to reach all the way over here and we're going to front post treble in this stitch, this stitch, and then this stitch, and in that order. So it feels again like you're reaching across a football field or something, but you're just reaching across one large cable and it will all look great in a few more rows, I promise. Oh, provided you follow the instructions properly, of course. Um, so after we do that, we have, as you can see, we have crossed one of the cables. Now we're going to half double crochet in the next half double crochet. And we're going to do this again. Skip the next three stitches, half double, and the next half double. Front post treble in the next three stitches, one, two, and three. Now working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in this stitch, this stitch, and then this stitch. Come all the way across. Again, it feels like a large distance, and I guess in some ways it really is. But it will all settle out in a few rows. Okay, so we have crossed those two cables. Now, we go on to the wattle stitch, and we're gonna work single crochet, chain one, double crochet in that space. And now it's time to work on the center cable. And we're just going to work three front post double crochets because this cable is going to be framed with these beautiful columns on the side. Single crochet, I'm sorry, half double crochet in the top of that next stitch. And then now we're going to cross the center here, skip three, just like we've already done, half double in that next stitch, front post treble in the next three stitches, working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble and the three stitches that we just skipped, just like I've shown you two times already. Make sure you do three front post trebles, or else you will be short on stitches when you come back the next row. And half double in that next stitch, working in the top loops. And this is the other set of col this other set of columns that's going to frame this cable. We're going to work three front post double crochets. Okay, so let's just pause. This is the center cable, again spaced by this wattle stitch. So we have the cable, or the uh, column rather, the cross cable, and then the set of columns. Make sure that you have that before you go forward. Another wattle stitch to separate these cables. Single crochet, chain one, double crochet in that chain one space. And then now we are simply going to cross these two cables just like we did right here. But I'm going to go ahead and work this with you because I know some of you may be viewing these stitches for the first time and I want to make sure that you understand them clearly. Okay, skip the next three stitches, half double, the next half double, front post treble in the next three stitches. Working in front of the last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we just skipped. And 
I must say I'm really enjoying the color of this yarn and the feel. All right, so now after we've done that, half double, and the next half double working in through the top loops, skip the next three stitches because we're going to cross this cable again in the same way, half double, the next half double. Let me just pause and let you look at that for a second because that does look really strange, I know, if you've never done this before. Okay, three front post trebles, one in each of the next post stitches. Now working in front of the last four stitches, the three post stitches and the half double, we're going to come way over here at front post treble in those three stitches that we skipped. Okay, we're almost there. Now we have a waddle stitch. Single crochet, chain one, double crochet worked in that chain one space. And now it's time to finish out with the basket weave. We have two rows already of the front post, so we're going to go ahead and reverse it. Two back post double crochets, followed by two front post double crochets. So really, every time you have the front side facing, it is going to be time to reverse the direction, if that makes sense. And when you're working the back side, you're just going to continue what is already happening in the basket weave, and then half double in that turning chain. So let's go ahead and review and take a look at row nine. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. We have the two cables crossed. We have the one cable crossed in the center with the two columns framing it. And then we have the two columns. Okay, so we have now completed our first cable crossing. Let's work row number 10, which is a little bit on the tricky side. Um, but I think once you understand how rows 9 and 10 operate, then a lot of the rest of this is going to be uh, much easier. Let's go ahead and chain 2 to begin row 10. And again, with the back side facing, we're just going to continue what we have with the basket weave. So we're going to work 2 front post double crochets, 2 back post double crochets, and two front post double crochets. All right, now we're going to work that waddle stitch with that single crochet, chain one, double crochet, worked in the chain one space. Yes, I repeat myself a lot. Now, for the back side of these cables, whenever the cable is crossed, this is what you're going to do. You're going to work three back post double crochets. Let's go ahead and do that last one again. It got away from me. Now in between where these cables were crossed, we're going to work a half double crochet. It's in between that last stitch and the next stitch in the center of the cable. Just work a half double crochet there. After that, three more back post double crochets. One, two, and three. So you did notice, if you were paying attention mathematically, that I added a stitch in here. However, the stitch count is not going to change throughout this project because whenever I add a stitch in here in the center of where the cables were crossed, we're going to skip the half double crochet that was crocheted here. Remember when you were um, skipping and it, it looked really funny? Uh, we're skipping this one, but we are going to work in this half double crochet just like that. Okay, and let's do this again. We have another cross cable we're working behind. We work three back post 
double crochets and again in between that last stitch and the next stitch which is the center where the cables were crossed work a half double crochet right in the middle and then three more back post double crochets and once again skip this half double crochet thereby maintaining the stitch count now we have the waddle stitch work your waddle stitch in that chain one space of the previous rows waddle stitch now we come to where the cable is here but you have those columns so this is easy we just do three back post double crochets one two three three back post doubles half double in the next half double and now we're going to cross or do the back side of a crossed cable again just like we did before three back post double crochets and where the cables are crossed work a half double in between them and then three more back post double crochets and in an effort to sound redundant skip this half double half double in the next half double and then we have three back post double crochets which frame the other side of this center um, cable and in another waddle stitch make a waddle stitch in that chain one space and then we're back to two more cables so I'm going to go ahead and work these just like I did the other two cables we did at the very beginning so go ahead and work the three back posts half double in between in the center and then three more back posts skip the half double half double and that next half double crochet and then do it again again skipping this half double waddle stitch and then I will finish out the basket weave with you so at the end of row 10 after working that waddle stitch we're going to continue with the two front post double crochets and then two back post and followed by the two front post double crochets for that basket weave and a half double crochet worked in the turning chain let's go ahead and see how this looks and you can already see there's a little more definition to what we're doing so you see the two two cables here the one centered with the uh, framed columns and then the two cables and of course you know from the picture that that after we complete these tandem cables that this is going to change and the tandem cables are going to move to the center and but I'm getting ahead of myself well let's go ahead on to row number 11 chain two and as you can see front side facing it's time to change the direction of the basket weave again so we're going to go ahead and do two front post then two back post followed by two front post again okay now it's time to work in that waddle stitch with that single crochet chain one double crochet and now for all of the cables and post all the way across all you're going to do is you're going to work front post double crochets where there are post cables and of course they come in groups of three so three front double crochets half double always worked in the top loops of the half double and then three more front post double crochets and again another half double worked in the top loops 
and then we do it again. Three front post double crochets, half double worked in those top loops, and then three more front post double crochets. And waddle stitch worked in that chain one space of last row's waddle stitch. And we're just going to continue that all the way across the row again even when the columns have not been crossed. Just three front post double crochets. Work in the top of the half double, etc. So go ahead and work this all the way across, working in the similar fashion. When you get to the waddle stitches, work a waddle stitch. And when you get to the basket weave it is time to reverse this so it will be two front two front post two back post two front post and a half double worked in that turning chain so go ahead and finish row 11. Now for row 12 we are going to chain two and again with the back side facing we're just going to maintain what the basket weave is doing so I see two back posts so we're going to work two back post and then two front post and followed by two back post double crochets. After that again, we work a wattle stitch in that chain one space. Now row number 12 is very similar to row 11 with the exception that everything that was front post in the last row we're going to work as back post. So all those uh, post stitches will be back post across this row which should be fairly easy. And then half doubles worked into the top of the half double crochets as you go across. So again three back post double crochets followed by that half double worked in the top loop. And we're going to work this across. When you get to the waddle stitch, work a waddle stitch in the chain one spaces. But otherwise, it's back three back post double crochets, half double, three back post, half double, etc. All the way across. And when you get to the end, you're going to work another waddle stitch in the chain one space. And then two back post double crochets, two front post, two back post, and a half double crochet worked in that turning chain. So go ahead and finish row 12. Now I'm going to give you an assignment of two more rows. Rows 13 and 14 are going to be the same as rows 11 and 12. So what you're going to do is you're going to work row 13, reversing the direction of the basket weave. So we're going to start with back post, then two front posts, then two back posts. Again, always working the waddle stitches, the single crochet, chain one, double crochet, and the chain one space of those. And then you're just going to work the front post, double crochets, and half doubles, making these cables even longer as you go all the way across. Again, working waddle stitches into waddle stitches, front post, double crochets in the post stitches and half doubles in all of the half doubles as you go. And again, don't forget to reverse this. That would be back post, front post, back post, and then work row 14, which would be maintaining whatever you see on the basket weave. And then you're going to work the other direction, doing basically the same, except like we did in row 12, we're going to work back post double crochets across all of the post stitches and again half doubles in the half doubles and waddle stitches where you see the waddle stitches. So go ahead and work rows 13 and 14. Now we've come to row 15 and let me explain what I'm going to do before we actually do it. For row 15, it's going to be the same as row nine here where we cross the cable. So we're going to cross these two cables once again. We're just going to continue 
on with these columns in the center cable. We're going to cross this cable and we're going to cross these two cables once again. So let's go ahead and start with the chain one and again front side facing which means we change the direction of the basket weave. So now we're working two front posts followed by two back post and then again two more front post double crochets and once again work that waddle stitch into the chain one space and it's time for us to cross these cables once again I'm just going to cross the first one with you since you should know how to do this at this point we're going to skip those first three stitches half double not first half double front post treble in the next three stitches working in front of those last four stitches we're going to front post treble in this stitch then this stitch and then this stitch so let's go ahead and do that it's one two and three and then we're going to work a half double crochet worked in the top of that half double crochet and so we're going to cross this um, cable in like manner but then we're going to follow that with a waddle stitch worked in the chain one space and then again just three front post double crochets very important and then we're going to cross this cable the same way we just crossed the first one and again three front post doubles waddle stitch cross these two cables with the appropriate waddle I'm sorry um, half double crochets in between a waddle stitch and then again two front post two back front two back post and two front post double crochets and half double worked in that turning chain so go ahead and complete row 15 which again is the same as row number nine so this is what you should have after completing row 15 and you can start to see the cables now so you're starting to see more of the pattern okay now for row 16 which is the same as row 10 which is worked after row 9 which is working in the crossed cables okay so let's go ahead and chain two and we're just maintaining the basket weave pattern we're not changing it because the back side is facing us so we started with two back posts now we do two front posts and followed by two more back post double crochets now we work that waddle stitch and again I'm just going to do the first cable just as a reminder we work with the back side after the crossed cable row we work three back post double crochets half double crochet in between that last stitch and the next stitch this is the center of where the cables crossed and then three more back post double crochets so basically back post double crochets over all of the post stitches and as a reminder we did add in an additional half double here but we're going to skip this half double there by maintaining our stitch count and again half double in the top of the half double crochets and when you get to the waddle stitches you just work an additional waddle stitch single crochet chain one double crochet in those spaces and so we're going to work this across and then when we get to the basket weave we're going to do two back post two front post two back post and again a half double crochet in the turning chain so go ahead and finish row 16. Now we're about to begin row 17 which is where more cabling fun begins so let's go ahead and talk about this before we actually do it where you have the tandem cables 
these two columns are going to come together and cross and form a single cable here. And this part of the cable is going to become straight and elongated as well as this. Very similar or exactly as these two columns have. Okay, so again, we are going to change the tandem cables into a single cable flanked by two columns on each side. Now, in the center, one of the columns here is going to combine with this part of the cable to form a cable. And this and this is going to also cross so that you're going to end up with tandem cables above the single cables here. And again, um, to, to keep the symmetry going, these two columns as part of the tandem cables will cross and these two outer columns will become columns again, framing the single cable right here. And uh, let's just go ahead and get started. I just wanted to tell you what we're doing. So you wanna be sure that we go right in after row 16 and any repeats. Um, we don't add additional rows. We just go right on into crossing the cables again, but in a way that changes their direction. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to work two back posts. Again, we're changing the direction of that basket weave because the front side is facing us. And then two front posts. And then again, two back posts double crochets and now we do that waddle stitch into that waddle stitch I'm hoping you're understanding that fairly well and now this is again we're going to cross these two and these two outer columns are going to be framing the single cable so we're going to work three front post double crochets half double in the next half double and then skip the next three half double in that next stitch and then three front post trebles just like we did two rows ago with crossing these cables and then working in front of those last four stitches we're going to front post here here and then here And by doing it at this point in the pattern, it makes the transition nice and smooth from the two to the one, and then again, from the one cable to the two cables. And now let's go ahead and half double in that next half double, and then three more front post double crochet. Notice we only use the trebles when we are crossing the cables. So that's what happens with the two to now just one cable and these two columns are going to frame it. Now let's go ahead and do the next waddle stitch. I'll do this entire row with you because I know this is complicated and this will be a part of the video that you may want to revisit on the repeats and I'll make sure that you have the time mark in the video directing you there. Okay, so now we're gonna cross, change one cable into two cables here. So the way we do this, we're gonna skip the next three stitches, half double, and that next half double. Again, front post treble in the next three stitches. And working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we just skipped. Just like that, half double, the next half double. Okay, so we're halfway done on this one. So we're going to skip three stitches again, half double and that half double, front post treble in the next three stitches, nice 
now working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we skipped. And let's go ahead and work that wattle stitch. And let's pause and take a look at this. So we've taken these two columns and we've turned them into a set of cables here, crossed cables. All right, so we just have one more cable to deal with. Again, going from the tandem cables to one cable. Let's start with three front post double crochets. This is just like we did uh, at the beginning of the row right here, but I'm just going to go ahead and work this with you because I think that will be beneficial. Half double crochet, that next stitch, skip the next three stitches, half double in the next stitch, front post treble in the next three stitches, one, two, three, and then working in front of those last four stitches, front post treble in each of these three stitches that we have skipped. And again, half double in the top of that half double. And then now we're going to work three front post double crochets. A waddle stitch. And again, we're changing the direction of the basket weave. We start with two back post double crochets, just like we did at the beginning of this row. And then two front post. And then two more back post double crochets. Followed by a half double worked into that turning chain. And let's go ahead and just take a, a better look at what we have here. And again, once we work a couple more of these rows and repeats, this will look a little more distinguishable. All right, so now we are ready for row 18. And again, this is very much a repeat or very similar. Let me go ahead and turn this around again. Um, it's very much like the row that is worked after the crossing of the cables. And I think I may just talk you through this. Um, let me let me just go ahead and do that. We're going to continue on with the basket weave that we see since we have the back side facing two front post, two back post, two front post. Here we work another waddle stitch, then three back post doubles, half double, and then just like with the cross cable before, three back post doubles, a half double where the, the this has crossed. Three more back post double crochets, skip this half double and work in the top loops of this half double. And then you just do that, etc., all the way across. Three back post double crochets, and again, work waddle stitches where you have the waddle stitch, and just continue handling each of these cross cables in the same manner. When you get to the basket weave, two front post, two back post and two front post double crochets, half double in that chain two space. So go ahead and complete row um, 18. Okay, for row 19, we're gonna chain two, and we are, again, changing the direction of the basket weave because we have the front side of our work facing with the odd number row. We have two front post, two back post double crochets, followed by two more 
front post double crochets. And then at this point, I'm going to talk you through this row since you already know pretty much, I think, what you need to do. But just to be clear, we're going to work a waddle stitch in the chain one space, and then we're going to work three front post double crochets, half double, three front post, half double, three front post, half double, three front post, a waddle stitch, and again, the same with the three front post double crochets, half double, three front post, half double, three front post, half double, three front post, and a waddle stitch, and then we repeat that all again over this cable, waddle stitch, and then two front post double crochets, two back post, and two front post over that basket weave, and a half double in the turning chain. So go ahead and complete row 19. So this is what you should have after 19 completed rows. Now for row 20, it's very similar to what we've already done. We're going to go ahead and chain two. And let me go ahead and talk you through this one as well. We're going to work two back post, two front post, two back post, a waddle stitch. And just like we've done in other rows, we're going to work three back post double crochets. This is over the post stitches, half doubles and half doubles. Three back post, half double, three back post, half double, three back post, and then waddle stitches where you see the waddle stitches. So we're just going to continue that as we grow these cables. Again, just we're working back post double crochets and half doubles where they belong and the waddle stitches where they go. And when you get to the basket weave, it's going to be two back post, two front post, two back post, and again, half double crochet worked in that chain, turning chain space. All right, so go ahead and complete row 20. Now for rows 21 and 22, they are going to be a repeat of rows 19 and 20, with the only exception is when you begin your basket weave, you always reverse this, so it's going to be two back post, two front post, two back post for that. So we are just continuing to build the length of the cables and these columns. So go ahead and do rows 21 and 22. This is what you should have after completing 22 rows. Now for row 23, I am just going to talk you through what we are going to do. We are get, again going to reverse the back, the basket weave to front post, to back post, to front post, and then we're going to work that waddle stitch. And as we go over this cable, we're going to continue this column with three front post double crochets, half double. We are going to cross this cable again, and then again, half double, three front post, waddle stitch. When you get to the tandem cables, make sure that you go ahead and cross these just the way you we have been. And then half double here, cross these cables a waddle stitch, and again, three front post, half double, cross this cable, half double, three front post, a waddle stitch, two front post, two back post, two front post, double crochets, and a half double worked in that turning chain. So go ahead and complete row 23. This is what you should have after completing 23 rows. Do make sure you take a moment after completing the crossing of the cable rows to make sure that you crossed your cables correctly. It just takes a minute to just give it a visual check. And then once you do that, we're ready to get on down the road to the next row. All right, so now we're going to work row 24. And again, let me just talk you through this because this is a row that we have already done. We're gonna work two back post, two front post, two back post. We just maintain the basket weave since we have the back side facing. Waddle stitch in the waddle stitches. Now we're just going to work back post double crochets over the post stitches. When you get to the crossed cable rows, make sure that you work the back post, three back post double crochets, and the half double in between 
where the cables cross. And don't forget those half double crochets in between. And again, we skip the one immediately after the cross cable and we work in the next half double crochet to maintain that stitch count. So again, make sure you work those accordingly and just work across those cables and the waddle stitches. And again, two back posts, two front posts, two back posts, and a half double crochet in the turning chain. So go ahead and complete row 24. This is what you should have after completing 24 rows. Okay, now I have a rather large assignment. I have instructed you in all of the rows that you are going to need to complete this. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a time mark. I will put it across the bottom of the screen and you are going to repeat rows 9 through 24 over and over again. And again, this is the center row 9 and then the sides with the tandem row 9. That's where the very first cable was crossed. So we're going to repeat row 9 through 24 over and over until this reaches the length that you desire or according to the number of rows across the bottom. And I'll have the number of repeats there for you as well. And it just so happens that this is a 16 row repeat which is a multiple of four, which means when you watch the repeat, starting with row nine, even the basket weave should be the same. So nothing is different about these repeats since it is a multiple of four. So go ahead and complete that. And then I will show you how to transition back to the ribbing to end this project. After repeating rows 9 through 24, a total of 9 times, and then I repeated rows 9 through 16 once more. So just to summarize that, the this whole section here, I repeated that 9 times more, and then this section just once more. Okay, so just one additional cable. Now, um, this is approximately 64 inches long. If you want to make your stole longer, you certainly can, or if you want to make it even shorter, just don't do as many repeats as I have done. Okay, so now we are ready to return. We have one more row that we're going to do within the pattern stitch, and I'll just go ahead and start it with you. We're going to start it just the way we have. This is actually going to be a repeat of, let's see, row number 12, I believe. So we're going to start with two back post, double crochets, two front post, And then two more back post double crochets. And this is really going to be the last row that we work in the style of the pattern stitch. And again, we go to the, the uh, waddle stitch and we work another waddle stitch in that chain one space. And this row, we're just going to work front post double crochets over all of the post stitches. Let me go ahead and just talk you through the rest of this. And again, as we've been doing half double through the top loops of the half doubles and, you know, etc. So just work front post double crochets, half doubles where you have half doubles and waddle stitches where you have waddle stitches. And then we complete again, make sure you work two back posts, two front posts, two back posts and a half double in that last stitch. And then after we do that, we are going to return to working the ribbing. Okay, this is the row just prior to the ribbing. So what we're going to do here is return the areas such as the waddle stitches um, back to regular either double crochets or post stitches. So what we're going to do, we're going to chain two and we're just going to continue maintaining the pattern stitch where we already have um, those, those post stitches. 
So we have two front posts, two back posts, and that is as long as you make sure that you have the back side of your work facing for this. And then we do two front posts, just again, maintaining the, the pattern. But now when you get to the waddle stitches, we're going to work two double crochets in the chain one space. We're going to skip this double crochet entirely and then one in the top of that single crochet so that those waddle stitches will be returning to three individual stitches. And then just continue with back post stitches over these post stitches of the cable. And when you get to the half doubles, work a double crochet in the top of that stitch. So go ahead and work this all the way across, but let me go ahead and work one more waddle stitch with you just in case you didn't quite understand. Well, there's double crochet in the top of that half double. I'll go ahead and work across this next, these next few stitches with you. Again, just working in the same, what we've been doing, except turning those half doubles and waddle stitches into double crochets. Okay, double crochet in that waddle stitch. And then we have three more back post double crochets. And just one more time for you, skip that double crochet work two double crochets in the chain one space of that waddle stitch and then one double crochet in the single crochet of the waddle stitch. So go ahead and work that all the way across the row. Now the last four rows are going to be worked as ribbing, but just keep in mind that you're going to maintain the two row basket weave over the beginning and end of the rows just like we've been doing all along. So let's go ahead and do that. And remember when you have the front side of your work facing, you work the opposite of what you see on these six basket weave stitches. And when the back side is facing, you work the same as what you see as far as whether to work a front post or a back post. Okay, so after we work these six stitches, Let's go ahead and take a look at those. Remember, again, maintain that throughout the ribbing process. And then after that, we're going to alternate front post, back post, front post, back post, all the way across the row exactly as we did in the very beginning. And then when you get to the last six stitches, you're going to revert back to the basket weave. So two front posts, two back posts, two front posts. And then the next three rows, we're just going to turn, chain two, and then again, maintaining the basket weave on each end. And then when you get to the ribbing, if you see a front post, you always work a front post. If you see a back post, you always work a back post. So go ahead and finish this row plus three more. Okay, this is what you should have after completing the ribbing. And for the record, I actually worked five additional rows instead of four. So just to review that with you, the setup row where we worked the double crochets into the waddle stitches, um, I worked five additional ribbing rows after that. Okay, now we are going to fasten off with the chain and give that a nice tug and cut a very generous thread and just pull that on through and as usual I'm going to just give you a quick tutorial on how to hide these loose strands and of course there will be several of these that we're going to have to go back and do but I'm just going to show you how to do one of these and I prefer to hide these on the back side of the work so we're going to just bring this down into the stitches uh, like this. And let's go down through another stitch here. And after we're going down, let's make sure it doesn't pull out of the needle. 
and then I'm going to come back up again. I like to do it this way because it, it just kind of helps to secure the strands into the work and hopefully prevent them from ever, ever um, pulling out again. So let's go ahead and, and pull that up like that. And, you know, I think that's going to be plenty. And then I like to pull back on it too, just to let that yarn relax and then give it a very carefully cut that. Make sure you don't cut your stitches and that strand should be hidden for the duration. Well, I hope you enjoyed making the Raspberry Cabled Delight stole with me today. Please feel free to comment below. God bless. Bye-bye.